This new station is uh, really important for the Heinord project because it, it adds another station to a network which is already existing. Uh, the existing networks consist of four stations at the moment, uh, but only one of those stations are in Oslo. Uh, so getting another station here in Oslo really adds value to the project. And for the customers who are going to use these cars, it will give them much bigger freedom of choice of where to refuel their cars. The Heiner project was initiated back in 2003 as an initiative from industry and, and from the public to, to show that uh, hydrogen technology can now be applied for personal transport. It is ready to be taken from the laboratory out into the public uh, sector. So uh, this project was formed to, to demonstrate this and uh, in order to demonstrate this, it was chosen to, to uh, be built a hydrogen road going from the east of Norway in Oslo to Stavanger in the west of Norway, about 600 kilometers. And uh, the goal was to have refueling stations along this route. Uh, since 2003, we've had four stations uh, being built along this route and more stations are coming, uh, most of them in, in the Oslo region. So we now see a clustering of stations here in Oslo, which is a really good thing because it makes the whole project more solid. And uh, we can only see that this accelerates the process even further. Well, this, uh, this project uh, is very important, uh, both for Oslo and for the, the national efforts uh, for, for hydrogen. Uh, along with this project, uh, there are, uh, for the first time, many fuel cell cars coming to Norway. Until now we've had uh, internal combustion engine hydrogen cars. With the fuel cell cars we, we uh, can have a longer range, we can have a, um, a car which is more suitable for, for everyday use, for, for families and such. So uh, this uh, station and uh, the, the cars that are coming along will really have a big impact, I think on uh, the, the efforts on hydrogen in Norway.